because now the, the full-time job is telling people why commercial is better, right? Why are we getting out of the residential business and focused strictly on this? Yeah. And, you know, if you listen to Kiyosaki a lot, he talks about the miseducation that's going on in America and how the idea of going to school, getting a good job, making a good wage, and then investing that wage into stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and ETFs is a problem. And it's really an epidemic. And I talk about this a lot where my dad passed away six years ago and lost nearly half of his uh, portfolio in the stock market crash in 08, 09, and didn't live long enough to ride it back up. Yeah. And, you know, the volatility of the stock market is what got me initially into real estate because it was something that was tangible, secure. I could touch it, feel it, drive by it. And that's why I liked real estate. And we have, you know, we have investors that are investing with us into vacant houses, right? They're, they're putting their money into a vacant house. I think everybody knows at this point of the market, it's starting to cycle towards the top. We were talking about this a little bit before. We were talking about this a little bit before we started. Like uh, when the mailman wants to get into flipping, it's time to get out. Yeah. And we're overpaying for deals because we're kind of topping that cycle of the market. And you know, as a wholesaler, that's actually good news because that means distress will start to go up as the market starts to shift down. So there'll be more opportunity. Um, but the conversation with our investors was, hey, we want to secure your capital more, right? Putting it into a vacant house is not super secure. Putting it into a thousand unit storage complex where with one tenant moves out, you don't feel it yeah. is not a big deal. So if you're able to do that, and get tax benefits, would you like to come over with us? And everybody was like, yeah, absolutely. But yeah. the education process is different because people don't even know that they can invest in these deals, right? Yeah. Saying, hey, let me borrow money from you and go flip a property is one thing. And everybody kind of knows that if you know a flipper, you can invest with them. What people don't know is that they can be a partner in one of our deals and go yeah. buy a $15 million project and be completely hands off and collect quarterly checks. Yeah. Your mutual funds are not sending you quarterly checks and they're not sending them consistently. And they're not something that you can kind of say, oh, this is based on cash flow, not based on something else. Yeah. So if it's based on cash flow, then you're good. And you know that that money's coming in because you can actually control that cash flow. Right. But what you can't control is the comps next door, right? And you get caught in downturn and your, your property is now worth $40,000 less than what you expected it to be. It's yeah. a problem. Oh yeah. yeah. And our days on market is getting a little bit higher, higher too. So a little worrisome. Yep. And I'm dropping my prices. So instead of yep. being at 90% of what the ARV is now I'm at 80% of what the ARV is just so I can turn these things. Right. So yep. I got to buy them a little bit better. And everybody now is like, yeah, but the market's really good. So they want more and you need to buy them lighter. Yeah. So it, it creates some challenges for sure.